Chengdu Spicy Chicken Wings, Brazilian Akaraje, South African Bunny Chow. These are just a few of the mouth-watering dishes from around the world served up at the restaurant New in Seattle. And the only thing more fascinating than the food is the story behind this place. I was actually the youngest to survive. Um, I was 10 during that time, so I was in a coma for quite a while. This is Uyen Gwen, one of the most positive, energized people you'll ever meet. With her husband, Chris, she co-owns Nu, one of the highest rated restaurants in the city. She runs the operations, he runs the kitchen. Their house is filled with art and decoration they've collected from their travels around the world, which is exactly how they wanted their restaurant to look. So in the morning, after some coffee, no breakfast, they take off to scour the city at a bunch of international markets, chasing down the perfect ingredients for their eclectic global menu, like this Vietnamese market and Mexican grocer. Okay. Bing, bang, boom, we're going. <laughs> and then, with all the ingredients in hand, it's off to new. Wow, this place is amazing. <laughs> new is just like Uyen and Chris's home. Look at this place, oh my god. Filled with an eccentric array of paraphernalia they've collected on their travels around the world. And while the design is mesmerizing and the food tantalizing, what shocked us most is the story of how Uyen got here. Uyen was born in Vietnam, right at the end of the Vietnam War. Her family was on the losing side. So to protect their family's future, her parents decided they needed to flee the country. In 1985, Uyen fled with her mom, baby sister, and two other brothers. Her dad and third brother stayed behind. We got on the boat and um, things didn't go out go very well. The engine of the boat died after three days. We ran out food after about six or seven days. But not only food, but water. So my younger sister sister was one of the first one to die. She was a year and a half. Then uh, followed by my brother, younger brother, and my mom. They passed away that same night. So. After 30 days or so, we finally got rescued and went to the Philippines in the refugee camp. Uyen was the youngest to survive at 10 years old. Her older brother survived too. Upon her rescue, she was in a coma. She doesn't know for how long. When she came to, she was in a refugee camp. Can you remember the first thing you saw when you woke up? It was uh, my aunt that uh, was sitting right next to me. Con con sao, you know, con khoe không? It's like, are you, are you healthy? Are you okay? Eventually, Uyen and her brother were granted passage to the States, where they were taken in by an uncle living in La Quinta, California. Despite the trauma and journey Uyen has been through, she's succeeded at nearly everything she's done since. She has a master's degree in biomedical science, an MBA from Berkeley. She worked at the largest tech company in the world and in venture capital. It was around this time, when she was living on a houseboat, that she met Chris. She was interesting. I, she, uh, I think it was her fearlessness. You know, that it's just somebody who's resilient and somebody who had an idea of something that she wanted and then she just went for it and did it, including marrying me and she, she made that happen. <laughs> a year and a half later, they got married. And although their careers were taking off, they had a hunger for travel and new food. So they quit their jobs to travel the world, trying every food they could find. It was around this time that they came up with the idea for New. The plan was to serve food they had encountered around the world, combining Chris's brilliance as a chef with Uyen's genius for business. We wanted to bring back that feeling when you're traveling and you're just really happy to, to talk to your neighbor, the people who are sitting right next to you, and you don't mind even sharing the plate of food with them. Thinking about the restaurant concept, it was really Intimidating. When you focus on too many countries, people think that you're a jack of all trade and a master of none and that your food just sucks. <laughs> you know? But if you do focus on one country, then it's not really consistent with what drives us. So in the end, we made the decision that we're just like, we're just going to focus on what we really love and we're just going to work our tail off to make sure that we have really great food. The result is a restaurant where you can get flavorful, complex, mouth-watering dishes from countries like Suriname, Syria, Burma, and Ecuador. All right, it Hi. has been a heck of a day. <laughs> yes. It has been a heck of a day. It's finally time to try some of this incredible food. It looks amazing. Chengdu spicy uh, wings, uh, and this has uh, Sichuan peppercorn in it, basil, Thai chili, fish sauce, and it's just amazing. It's in Vietnamese, we say yo. Yo, in. Yo. Yo. <laughs> mm. Isn't it good? 
Brazilian acarajé. So acarajé is a food you're going to find uh, you know, throughout Africa, West Africa. You're also going to find it in Spain and Portugal. This is the Brazilian version of it. It's a, so acarajé is a fritter with a seafood that's called batapa on the inside. Wow. I've never had anything like that. So this is bunny chow. I never had bunny in it. So it was the Indians that came over to um, South Africa to build the railroads. It's very similar to a chicken masala. The outside of the bread is toasted so that I can give it a crunchy texture mm. too. Mm. New is something special, and a huge part of what makes it special is Uyen. She has a huge heart. She's constantly smiling. She cares about people. And the experience at New is a perfect reflection of Uyen's passion for life and desire to appreciate every moment. I believe that you only have one life to live. And I feel like I went through too much in life to not really be truly happy and to just really to see the, um, the gift we've been given and to really just enjoy it before it's just all gone.